Hello, everyone. Welcome into Above My Pay Grade. My name is Eric. Thanks for tuning in. I, uh, going back to work soon. So I decided to do a little Western themed facial hair. My wife hates it. So let me know what you think. I'm going to have to shave it into a mustache. It's right around here. Get rid of this. Um, but it lasts a day or so. But uh, I wanted to cover, you may have heard in the news, Nord Stream 2 and 1 have massive leaks in them. Odd timing. Um, and seems to be sabotage. I'm no expert in gas pipelines, but I wanted to walk through this article with you. Um, and uh, you can come to your own conclusion, conclusions. <clears throat> so Nord Stream 1 and 2 reported leaks at the exact same time uh, yesterday. Now, that alone, according to the experts, is unprecedented. That uh, two different locations, actually it's three different locations could report leaks all at the same time. And both of these pipelines, kind of separate corridors, if you will, of um, gas flowing, could have a massive leak at the exact same time. I don't know if there's uh, some natural cause uh, somebody could come up with. I'm not the expert in that, but it happened at the exact same time. Hence the coincidence, hence why people are going, oh, huh. seems like uh, sabotage and not necessarily natural causes. So if you look at some of these pictures uh, of the leak, uh, it's quite a bit of gas coming out of Nord Stream 2 and 1. And if you look at this, map here this map shows where the leak happened so there's two spots on Nord Stream 1 if you look there and then one at Nord Stream 2 all happened at the same time and they're massive holes they're not cracks they're holes <laughs> holes how do holes happen in giant pipelines made of metal maybe some explosive uh, explosives Very interesting. Suffice it to say, uh, energy going to Europe, <laughs> uh, that might not uh, be reinstated from Nord Stream 1 or 2 anytime soon. So it says here in the article, Denmark is starting to tighten up security around the energy assets as, as some European officials speculate that Nord Stream pipeline system was sabotaged. The plot thickens about what caused the damage in three lines of the Nord Stream gas pipeline system under the Baltic Sea to Europe. Uh, Nord Stream AG, the operator of the Nord Stream pipeline system, published a statement Tuesday saying the destruction that happened within one day at three lines of the Nord Stream pipeline system is unprecedented and impossible now to estimate the time frame of restoring operations of the gas sh shipment infrastructure. Keeping in mind, uh, energy is a world market. So if Europe is, it can't be dependent on Russian oil, they go somewhere else. And that somewhere else is probably the United States. Um, supply and demand. It's a world demand, not just the United States. Really crazy stuff. Uh, further down the article, the simultaneous pressure drop in the Nord Stream line suggests some market participants may watch for indicators of sabotage. A German security official told Bloomberg that the Nord Stream damage appears to be a result of sabotage. The evidence points to a violent act rather than a technical issue, according to the German security official, who asked not to be identified because the matter is being probed. Never use the word probed. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of people on Twitter are, are posting this. Um, Biden a couple months ago said, uh, if Russia invades, then there will no longer be Nord Stream 2 pipeline. We'll bring it to an end. And then the reporter asks, but how will you do that? Exactly. Since the project is in German control. And Biden, Biden says, I promise you, we'll be able to do that. This first question for us. If Germany, if, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there will be uh, we there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. 
What do, what, how, will you, how will you do that exactly since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. So a lot of people on Twitter are posting this and going, hmm, is the United States responsible? Is Russia responsible? Um, I don't know if Russia stands to gain, I mean, yes, it is in German control, but if, if Russia is officially thinking to themselves, we're never going to supply Europe with oil again. Uh, of our own volition, we don't want to. We already have, we have demand somewhere else through whether it's China or India, they, they want our oil. We're never gonna supply it to uh, Germany again. Therefore, we're gonna destroy this pipeline, who knows? It's all speculation at this point. Um, what would the United States stand to gain from this? Uh, cut Russia off at the knees if, if Europe is about to break. Uh, if Europe's about to break and say, hey, we want your energy again, maybe. And the United States is like, no, that's not happening. Crazy world. Uh, there's a lot of uh, moving parts and wars are fought over energy people. And this does not look like an accident, unfortunately. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, this is a very big deal, obviously. And uh, it means to me that energy is not from Russia, is not returning to Europe anytime soon, even if it was going to, even if they were had talks of a ceasefire potentially, or uh, Germany was breaking. Now it's an impossibility. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.